If you're someone who has taken and passed the exams necessary to earn a CompTIA certification, then you know as soon as you earn that cert, a clock starts ticking. That certification is only good for three years. We're talking specifically about these certifications. But in this video, we're going to focus on the A+, the Network+, Plus, and the Security+. Plus. The problem with this, of course, is that if you don't renew this certification during that three-year period, you lose the certification completely. And the only way to regain that certification is to go through the entire testing process again. And nobody wants to do that. I have had people visit my website and tell me that their certification is going to expire tomorrow. They would like to renew it. What options do they have? And I have an option that will allow you to renew your certification in three to six hours. I'll go through some of the other options before that. But if you want to jump ahead in the video right to the point where I talk about this very fast renewal process, I'll put a timestamp on this video. And there will be links in the YouTube description. One of the original ways of renewing your CompTIA certification is by collecting CEUs. These stand for Continuing Education Units. And there are many different activities that you can do to earn these CEUs. For example, you can attend a webinar like my monthly study groups. You can attend a conference, complete a college course, complete a training course, and so on. There are many different activities. And different activities will provide you with a different number of continuing education unit hours. Attending a webinar might only take an hour of your time. But attending a conference or completing a college course or writing a book can take a significant amount of time to be able to earn those CEUs. This is also a process that is not free. You have to pay annual maintenance fees to be able to submit these CEUs. And over that three-year period, for the A+, you'd be paying $75. And for the Network Plus and Security Plus, you'd be paying $150 every three years to maintain that certification, assuming that you've collected all of the necessary CEUs. If you're someone who doesn't like to collect all of these CEUs and you would rather just perform one single task, then you may want to consider taking a higher level exam. For example, if you have the A plus exam, you could take the Network Plus, Server Plus, or Linux Plus. And if you pass those exams, it would automatically renew your A plus. There are similar upgrade paths for the Network Plus and the Security Plus exam. Of course, studying for an industry certification exam can be very time consuming. This might take weeks or even months to be able to learn everything you know to be able to pass this newer exam. So if you have to renew your certification tomorrow, this might not be the best option for you. One of the advantages of using a higher level CompTIA exam to renew an existing CompTIA exam is there are no annual CEU maintenance fees. However, you still have to pay to take the higher level exam. So there is some money out of pocket to pursue this particular renewal option. You can also renew your A+, plus, Network+, plus, or Security+, plus by taking a higher level exam from someone who is not CompTIA. For example, you could take Cisco, Microsoft, McAfee, Red Hat, and many other third-party manufacturer certification exams. And all of those exams provide you with CEUs that you can use to upgrade your existing CompTIA certs. And as with studying for a CompTIA certification exam, it still takes quite a bit of time to study for a third-party certification exam. And because this is a third-party exam that provides you with CEU hours, you have to first pay for the third-party exam. And then you also have to pay for your annual maintenance fees. Of course, one obvious way to renew a certification is to take the certification exam or exams again. This can be a painful process, especially if you have to take multiple exams to earn a particular certification. But this is a renewal process where the time constraint is not as critical. If you happen to go past the expiration date of your certification, you simply take the exams again, and you're recertified. As with other renewal options that require you to take an exam, you may still have to study for the latest version of this particular certification exam. And the version is important. You're not able to repeat the same version of exam that you've already taken. So if you are taking the same exam to renew, it has to be a newer version than the one you originally took. Since you are using the original exam process to renew the certification, there are no annual maintenance fees to pay. But you do have to pay to take the certification exams. 
CompTIA now provides a way to upgrade your A+, Network+, Plus, or Security+, Plus certifications in what they estimate to be around four to six hours. This upgrade process is called CertMaster CE. This allows people who have taken certain versions of the A+, Plus, Network+, Plus, or Security+, Plus exams to renew using the self-paced e-learning course. You might have also seen another set of products on the CompTIA site called the Cert Master Practice Exam Prep Course. This is different than the Cert Master Practice. You want to look for Cert Master CE as the product that allows you to renew your certification. When this video was recorded, the prices for the Cert Master CE for A Plus is $129 US, for Network Plus it's $189, and for Security Plus it's $199. This is a bit more expensive than paying the annual CEU fees. This is also something you can do much faster than accumulating CEUs. If you use CertMaster CE, there are no annual CEU maintenance fees. The price on this is a bit more than accumulating CEUs, but it's something that you can do much faster than going through the CEU process. There are many different ways to renew your certification, and you should find the one that works for you. I've given you some of the most popular renewal options in this video, but there's others available on the CompTIA website. Just check the section under Continuing Education. And of course, things tend to change over time. CompTIA may change what is being offered and the pricing, so make sure you check the continuing education pages for the latest details. And if you have questions about this video or any of my training videos, you can click the Contact Us link at the top or the bottom of my website to send me a message. Thanks for watching, and best of luck with your renewal.